Intelligent design implies either natural discontinuities in the history of life or the creation of sufficient natural laws and initial conditions to allow an evolutionary development of life on Earth. Would you discuss the strengths and weaknesses of each submodel of intelligent design? Well, the, the question of, of how the design was executed or where the information was put in is a good one. And um, certainly a lot of people I talk to, they, that's one of their first questions. Did these systems have to be explicitly designed the first time they were used? Uh, are there discontinuities where the uh, bacterial flagellum, say, or the eukaryotic cilium, where they uh, did not uh, arise from an ancestor but were placed in a pre-existing system? Or on the other hand, you have sufficient information placed into life earlier and allow that information to, to remain uh, unexpressed until a later point. Um, there are strengths and weaknesses to both of these positions. The, uh, in, the, in thinking that um, uh, in a, a system would be placed immediately into an animal uh, or a plant or whatever, uh, you have the advantage of, of, of saying that, well, that's what seems to be supported by the fossil record, by uh, biological studies, that is, some organisms have these systems, some don't. The disadvantage, as I see it, is that uh, you are going beyond, uh, going beyond natural processes a number of times uh, at several points during life. And, and certain that's a philosophical consideration, it's not really a scientific one, uh, but still it's, it's uh, not something that science does all the time, and so one, uh, one is given pause. Uh, with the uh, idea that life, uh, that information for life in these uh, complex processes was somehow stored into uh, matter uh, and later on expressed, you have the uh, advantage of having a definite physical system that you can at least try to investigate, that is, you can mathematically see if information could be stored in an organism, how fast would it degrade, could it be stored in other structures other than DNA. You have a, a system that you can investigate. The disadvantage is that currently nobody knows how that information could have been stored. Uh, there are, you know, reasons to think that information might decay more rapidly than uh, the time before, between it, its first implanting and the time it was expressed. Uh, but, the, you know, one might hope that to get around those things. So, so both of those have advantages, disadvantages, uh, but I think the bottom line is that we have to do a lot more work uh, before we can decide between the two and, and perhaps even other models. So we have to get into the labs and uh, get out our calculators and then start doing some honest labor here to, to decide between these.